Hi guys. It is a hot, sticky, miserable, wildfire, smoke choked day here in paradise in East Bumblefuck, New Mexico, where your old climate refugee is fleeing to somewhere cool, cool 99 degrees instead of 104. Anyway, <coughs> It is Thursday morning, June 15, 2017, so as much as I hate to break the bad news to you guys, uh, I am about to descend in just a shit, just a shit smeared cesspool of, 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 of just, just sewage. Uh, called my weekly Dump the Trumpty Hive Roundup rant, where I go on the pages of the mainstream media to look at, just look at more ways. We need to put an end to this, people. I'm, I'm, I'm losing my sense of humor. Good God, I've got 30 fucking stories to go over today, so I can't get very deep into any one, one of them, but... I'm going to start off with my my uh, number one dump the Trumpy high roundup hero, and this is uh, political reporter Matt Bai. I guess that's how you pronounce B A I. Matt uh, once again, and I can feel Matt's pain. So I'm going to spend probably more time on this story, and then we're just going to hit a few of the headlines. <clears throat> I feel your pain, Brother Matt. Every week, I wake up thinking, I'm going to write about something else. Maybe Dennis Rodman's latest mission to North Korea, or the melting Antarctic ice shelf. But then the president does something or contemplates doing something that is just too reckless to ignore. Donald Trump is the sinkhole beneath our national dialogue sucking up everything but the sky. <clears throat> so this week started out with a report that Trump was now furious that the Justice Department Special Counsel Robert Mueller was considering and was considering a move to get him fired. Please, 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 my God, if, if Donald Trump could, would only fire, uh, would only fire Robert, that would be an eco-Nazi's dream. But, but Matt Bai says even, even Donald Trump is, is not so stupid to go there. And reluctantly, I've got to agree with Matt. Uh, but most of what uh, he's talking about here is this cabinet meeting. Uh, guys, if, if you... I, I was going to actually play a clip from uh, Donald Trump um, meeting with, with his uh, little band uh, of the uh, horsemen of the apocalypse, but it literally, literally made me want to puke. And I do not think you need a video of Hambone puking all over his computer. I, I literally could not stand it. I had to turn it off. But uh, this is this is Matt's. Uh, review of that. Uh, I, I guess uh, Robert Mueller forgot to stop by the cabinet meeting Monday and publicly declared to the president how profoundly blessed and honored he was to have the privilege of investigating corruption and treason among some of Trump's top campaign advisors. If you did not watch the opening of the president's first full cabinet meeting than you should because it was really something, yeah, something nomally, uh, something vomit-inducing. Uh, 
Normally, cabinet meetings start with some informal banter and maybe a few words from the president, uh, blah, blah, blah. But Trump started his meeting with a recitation of his accomplishments, which included a claim that he had, quote, passed more legislation and, quote, done more things than almost any president in history, with the possible exception of Franklin Roosevelt. Since Donald Trump has passed exactly no significant legislation to this point, we can read this only one of two ways. Either the 71-year-old Trump lives in a faraway land and all this talk about the 25th Amendment is not as wishful as it seems, or he knows the cable networks would carry him live even if he were in a coma, and he is deliberately laying out a completely fabricated reality for voters who distrust the media or don't have time to consume it. I'm going with the last one. But then Trump opened the floor to the members of his cabinet who for roughly 10 minutes went around the room praising and thanking the president while he beamed and nodded like a dog owner watching his Yorkie show off at obedience school. <laughs> anyway, Matt by. You are, you, you are a bright light in, in these days of darkness. I, I've really never heard of this guy uh, until January 20th. Anyway, uh, before we, we dive in to uh, the various charges against Trump and his polls and um, whatnot, let's just look at a few of the, the, the stories about what Donald Trump is doing to make America great again. Well, several stories on this. Trump administration scraps new protection for endangered whales and sea turtles. It has not been a good week for America's endangered species. The Trump administration has been taking aim at protections for some of the country's most vulnerable creatures. <clears throat> Last week, it was the imperiled sage grouse. This week, it's endangered whales and sea turtles off the Pacific coast. As Trump's National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Fisheries Division announced on Monday, that it is tossing out, tossing out a rule meant to protect marine mammals and sea turtles, including several endangered species from sword fishing gill nets off the west coast. Environmental experts are calling the move a declaration of war by the Trump administration against threatened marine life. Okay, from the whales declaring war on uh, whales and sea turtles and sage grouse here in our, oh, I'm sorry, uh, let's go over, before we go over and leave the country, let's just go to Utah where what is uh, Trump's little fawning uh, horseman of the apocalypse, uh, Secretary of Interior Ryan Zink up to this week. Uh, Ryan Zink has recommended to Donald Trump that Bears Ears National Monument in Utah be reduced in size to the smallest area compatible with its conservation. Zinc, who was tasked by Trump to review the 1.3 million acre monument set up by Barack Obama, said there is, quote, no doubt that it is 
drop-dead gorgeous country and that it merits some degree of protection, but the scope of the designation was not appropriate. Okay, from Utah to, uh, I guess, Syria. What does the UN have to say about Donald Trump's foreign policy and his campaign promises not to get the U.S. entangled in those pesky foreign wars? UN notes staggering loss of civilian life caused by U.S.-led strikes in Syria, airstrikes by the U.S.-led coalition in northern Syria have killed at least 300 civilians since March, uh, United Nations investigators said. Uh, and civilians have not just been killed by Donald Trump. Some 160,000 civilians uh, have had to abandon their homes due to Donald Trump's airstrikes. Yes, uh, and it also, according to the UN, it also appears that U.S. forces are using white phosphorus in Syria and Iraq in areas populated uh, with civilians. Jesus. Uh, I I anyway, is there for anyone who does not understand why, why Donald Trump is the single biggest recruiter on planet Earth for ISIS? Maybe you can look at that story. But uh, let's go over there to Afghanistan where, uh, no shit Sherlock, more troops likely headed to Afghanistan soon. Defense Secretary James Mattis' new authority granted to him by Donald Trump to manage troop levels in Afghanistan will likely mean the deployment of thousands of additional U.S. service members to Afghanistan this summer. There you go. Uh, Mattis is expected to approve the uh, deployment of 3,000 additional troops. DDD 3,000 more of Trump's little body bags headed to Afghanistan. Uh, how many times was did Donald Trump call out Hillary Clinton uh, for being a warmonger and a war criminal? If you want to look at a fucking war criminal, go to 1600 uh, Pennsylvania Avenue. Okay, from Trump in Afghanistan to Trump in China. Donald Trump awarded new trademarks in China which could further conflicts of interest. U.S. President Donald Trump is adding six more of his trademarks in China, uh, including veterinary services, which will likely help to expand his personal business influence across China. During his election campaign, Trump accused China of stealing American jobs, but since meeting Chinese President Xi Jinping in April, he has taken a friendlier approach. Trump uh, added these trademarks and now has 123 registered or approved trademarks 
all across China. And uh, which may or may not have something to do to this story, many versions of this story. Democrats in Congress suing Trump, citing conflicts of interest. Uh, nearly 200 Democratic members of Congress filed a lawsuit against President Trump on Wednesday morning alleging that his continued ties to his business empire violates the U.S. Constitution. The unprecedented legal action accuses Trump of violating the Emoluments Clause of the U.S. Constitution, which prohibits federal officials from accepting gifts or titles from foreign governments without congressional approval. You go, you 200 Democrats. Uh, now, of course, I just touched on this. Uh, this, this absolute hambone wet dream about uh, rumors flying around. Could Donald Trump be idiotic enough to uh, fire special counsel Robert Mueller? I guess I'm pronouncing that right. Washington is abuzz with rumors that President Donald Trump is considering Dismiss, dismissing Robert Mueller as special counsel to the Justice Department for its investigation of Rus Russian interference with the 2016 presidential election. Uh, anyway, again, I'm going to have to reluctantly uh, agree with Matt By that that would simply that would simply be too good to be true. Uh, just, just simply too good to be true. Uh, please. Uh, well, and so obviously uh, Donald Trump Firing Robert Mueller from Russia investigation would be the, quote, last straw, warns senior Democrat. A senior Democratic congressman, this is Adam Schiff, the most senior Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee, said it would be the last straw if Trump fired special prosecutor Robert Mueller uh, and tried to appoint him with his own replacement. There you go. Uh, that is the... Uh, <laughs> we will see. Let's see. And then, my God, uh, how many stories uh, having a field day with this vomit-inducing press conference. And if you have an empty stomach and, and, and want to truly descend in, in, into, the, uh, in, into the Twilight Zone episode known, uh, known as the Donald Trump Cabinet, uh, just go on, you, there's a million YouTubes. Uh, with this this bizarre show. Uh, here is Donald Trump's cabinet heaps praise on him as he claims to be the best president in modern times. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, let's see. Uh, here is Joe Scarborough blast un-American fawning Trump cabinet. <clears throat> Joe Scarborough ripped into President Trump and his cabinet on Tuesday 
uh, blah, 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 quote, sick is the word the co-host of MSNBC's Morning Joe said of the meeting, it is also deeply un-American to turn a cabinet meeting with the President of the United States inside the White House into a cheerleading routine where everybody is supposed to go around and praise him. <clears throat> In the video, the president calls on attendees one by one who in turn take the opportunity to fawn over their boss. <clears throat> and then we have Charles Schumer mocking bizarre Trump cabinet meeting. Anyway, uh... Okay, from that cabinet meeting, what else is Donald Trump being probed for? Donald Trump being probed for possible obstruction of justice. The special counsel overseeing the probe into Russia's alleged meddling in the U.S. election is now looking at whether President Donald Trump tried to obstruct Justice, the uh, Washington Post reported Wednesday. In a pivotal shift in the uh, investigation, senior intelligence officials uh, have agreed to be interviewed by investigators working. Uh, uh, anyway, it's all rumor now. But uh, is there anyone left on the planet who does not understand uh, that the least of what Donald Trump is up to is obstructing justice? The motherfucker is obstructing life on planet Earth is what he is obstructing. I did enjoy I, I honestly don't know if this is serious or not. Kov Fefe Act would make it illegal for the president to delete tweets. The Presidential Records Act uh, has required that the U.S. president's records and communications be kept intact since Watergate, and a new bill could extend the law to social media. On Monday, Representative Mike Quigley from, from Illinois and introduced a proposal that would amend current law to make it illegal for the president to delete his social media post. There you go. I don't think there's any danger. I think that the tweeter-in-chief is, is proud of them. Anyway, let's look at a few of the polls. Is this camera even on? I have to check. This camera, am I talking to myself? I guess, well I, well, I am talking to myself, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, let's go over to look at a few of the polls. We'll start here with this one. Trump's disapproval rating hit a record high and he hit the mark faster than any modern president. Trump's uh, disapproval rating hit a new record high on Tuesday in Gallup's tracking poll. Uh, Trump's disapproval rating hit 60%, its highest mark ever, and his approval rating sat at 36%, which is actually 1% higher than the record 35%. When combined, his net approval rating of minus 24 was tied for the worst mark of his initial months in office. Uh, Tuesday was the 144th day of Trump's presidency. Let's see, 
Here is half of U.S. voters in favor of launching proceedings against Trump. This is actually almost half. Almost half of voters are in favor of Donald Trump being impeached. A new poll has shown uh, it would be nice if uh, they would tell who, oh, this is this Kennepack University poll that I report on each week. A total of 47% of people surveyed would support him being removed from president, while 43% would oppose it. Uh, this poll shows 54% of respondents disapproving of uh, Trump's performance and 40% approving it. What's the next poll we have to uh, look at? Well, I don't know guys, this could be the end of my, uh, I guess my computer is just not going. I guess I can read you the headline. I don't know where the article is. New poll shows more. Here we go. So this is Politico. A new poll by Politico uh, shows more than 60 percent of Americans say Trump tried to obstruct Russia investigation. More than 60% of Americans think that Trump has tried to impede or in obstruct the investigation into Russia's meddling in the 2016 uh, election. Uh, anyway, guys, I still got a lot to go through here. Let's see, here is, which poll is this one? Uh, this is the Associated Press NORC Center for Public Affairs Research poll. Shows most Americans doubt Trump's respect for institutions. Most Americans say they think President Donald Trump has little to no respect for the country's democratic traditions, according to a new poll that underscores the difficulty Trump faces in uniting a country deeply divided about his leadership. More than six, this poll finds more than 60 percent of Americans disapprove of the job Trump doing as president and nearly 50 percent strongly, strongly disapprove uh, of his performance. Okay, let's see. Here is Trump Let's go over to look at calls to impeach Donald Trump. Trump impeachment calls surge as president faces most serious scandal in U.S. history. Uh, amid, uh, well, admit it now, after James Comey's damning testimony before the Senate Intelligence Committee, calls for President Donald Trump to face impeachment proceedings are surging uh, as two of the leading Trump resistance groups have called for the first time for the impeachment process to start against Trump on charges of obstruction of justice. Uh, anyway, uh, 
we will hear more of that. I just got to, this is the LA Times weighing in uh, on this, uh, on impeaching Donald Trump. Uh, the Times has made no secret of, his, of its opposition to Trump, to his po policy certainly, but also to his fluid relationship with fact, to his embrace of fringe political theories and movements, to his disrespect for basic institutions of democratic government, to his careless and handling of intelligence, to his cavalier attitude toward alliances and partnerships that have stood the country in good stead. We believe his election and continuing tenure as commander-in-chief are bad for the nation. We see no evidence that he will grow into the job. We look forward to the day when he is no longer president. Thank you, LA Times. What is uh, ex-Republican Congressman Bob Inglis? Uh, what's on his mind about, uh, about Donald Trump's impeachment? Inglis says Paul Ryan would look into impeachment if a Democratic president acted like Trump. Yes. Uh, Inglis, who served on the House Judiciary Committee that impeached former President Bill Clinton, wrote to Paul Ryan, quote, you know that you would be inquiring into impeachment if this were a Democrat. Uh, quoting an earlier interview, which I think I already covered, we just need to be honest and call it like it is. It is beyond a break-in at the Watergate. This is beyond sex with a White House intern. It is the substance matter is really serious. This investigation deals with the interference of an American election by a hostile foreign power. Let's see. What is on the minds of House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi? Pelosi says Trump is about to impeach himself as his approval ratings plummet. <clears throat> House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi delivered one of her strongest rebukes yet of the Trump presidency on Tuesday, telling her Democratic colleagues on Capitol Hill to allow time for the president to self-impeach before spearheading efforts to remove him from office just months into his tenure. Uh, and I think he's doing a fine job about that. Let's look. That was a Newsweek magazine. As long as we're over there in Newsweek, what is showing up on their opinion pages? A United America No More. How Donald Trump Killed Ronald Reagan's Hope. Yes. Uh, in, in, anyway, guys, I, I, I would love to get into this, but I still have six more stories. Uh, if my computer will, will just hand them over uh, to me, which uh, I... Uh, well, anyway, I, I, I'm trying to, since my computer has had enough of this. Okay, what is on the mind of Democrats 
California Democrat Senator Kirsten Gilbrand on whether Trump has kept his promise. I'm sorry, this is New York Democrat Senator Kristen uh, Gillibrand uh, uh, criticizing Donald Trump's record in office. Quote, has he kept his promises? Fuck no, Ms. Gillibrand said of the president. Well, uh, that depends on the promise. If, uh, if it's his promise uh, to stay uh, out of foreign wars, uh, hell yeah. But if it's his promise to declare war on the planet, uh, he, is, uh, he damn well has kept his promise. Anyway, guys, I was thinking of lowering myself to uh, getting in a rant about this new controversy over this uh, new theater production, this satire uh, in, in New York, uh, making a satire of, uh, of Julius Caesar. You know, Shakespeare's uh, play Julius Caesar with putting Donald Trump in the uh, in the position of Julius Caesar, and so since this is a satire, obviously uh, Donald Trump ends up getting assassinated uh, at, at at the end of the uh, of the whether well, is this a tragedy or comedy? I don't know, and 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 these clueless fucking morons trying to compare this satire of a, uh, of, of a Shakespeare play to that goddamn clueless fucking bitch uh, whose name I have already forgotten, that comedian walking around with uh, Trump's bloody head in her hand last week. I've already forgotten that fucking bitch's name. And I notice, uh, anyway, anybody who does not understand the difference between a satire of, uh, of a piece of theater versus that clueless fucking bitch, uh, you, you're, so, you're, you're so clueless that uh, there's nothing I can do for you anyway, so there's no point in me having the rant, so I'm just going to move on since I've wasted enough time. Okay, but there is one person still cheering on Donald Trump, uh, and that would, of course, be Alex Jones and his uh, band of, uh, of shit-smeared, clueless fucking morons. And in this story, uh, we look at Donald Trump's relationship to Alex Jones. Uh, yes, Trump and Jones began a relationship on Trump's campaign trail and have peddled the same conspiracy theories and the most popular being the that Barack Obama uh, you know you know that one uh, and Trump has continued to parrot Jones's ideals uh, well there there's a, a simple reason for that that it is Jones it is Alex Jones's base that is Donald Trump's base uh, and this is the real tragedy it was Alex Jones's base that put this motherfucker in the White House. Uh, as, how many times have I said my best friend uh, on the planet is an Alex Jones ass-licking uh, Sandy Hook cockroach uh, 
you know, clueless fucking moron uh, believe in this shit. What are you going to do? And, and uh, she's college educated, uh, an intelligent edu college educator right here in New Mexico. Anyway, I mentioned this one, I believe, in my climate meltdown roundup rant, how this island, Tangier Island, uh, right off the coast of Washington, D.C., is literally disappearing beneath the waves as sea level rise uh, threatens to just drown Tangier Island. So apparently Donald Trump saw the same story and felt it was his duty to uh, call the, uh, the mayor of Tangier, Virginia to tell him don't worry about rising seas. Now this is just uh, the, the mayor uh, quoting Trump, so I'm not sure. This is probably pretty close to Trump's phone call talking to the mayor of Tangier Island that's sinking under the ocean. Quote, you've got one heck of an island there. Uh, your island has been there for hundreds of years, and I believe your island will be there for hundreds more. About 87% of Tangier residents voted for Trump, and Mayor Eskridge said that he loved Trump like a family member. Speaking of Trump, family members, what is on the, on the mind, if you can say Ivanka Trump has a mind, what is on uh, the, the clueless fucking bitch uh, first daughter mind? Ivanka Trump says she was blindsided by the reaction to her father's presidency. Yes, uh, poor Ivanka just cannot understand why people are upset with the good job her daddy is doing. But of course, uh, I, 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 the big question in this rant for the one or two people uh, left listening to it is, would Mike Pence be a better president. So if we do get rid of this fucker, what do we get? We get Mike Pence. Uh, but as, uh, as, you know, at, at this point, guys, anybody on planet Earth put the fucking little maggot from North Korea up there in the White House for God's sake. You know? Dennis Rodman for president. Would Pence be a better president? Republicans think so as Trump impeachment calls grow. Donald Trump is president. That much is true. But apparently nearly every politician in his party but apparently nearly every politician in his party would prefer that Trump's number two take his position in the Oval Office. I love it. Trump's number two. His, his turd floating around in the Oval Office of, of the presidential toilet. I vote Donald Trump's turds. To, uh, to take over the uh, Oval Office. But anyway, I got to wrap up uh, this week's Dump the Trump D. High Roundup rant here in East Bumblefuck, New Mexico, and, and go check on this wildfire bearing down on East Bumblefuck. 
We're already smoking them here in the end times. Bye, guys.